Hey guys, it's Natalie the Geek, and I'm coming at you with my post comments on the season finale of season 5 of Criminal Minds, episode 23, called Our Darkest Hour. All I can say is, Tim freaking Curry, oh my god, I love the man if you could not tell. <laughs> I was so excited when I found out he was going to be on the finale, like, super stoked. He is just, like, beyond amazing. Anyway, so the episode started out, uh, very weird the way it was filmed. I'll call it Curry style. And, um, let me tell you, that is the last time that I crack a window or leave my, uh, back door screen door open without being locked. Man, he is just beyond amazing. Anyway, so the first, by the first scene, I could already tell that, uh, his character was based off of the serial killer, Richard Ramirez, which I thought was pretty cool. And so, uh, as we move into the episode, I like the two detectives that they cast for this episode, uh, Detective Eric, uh, sorry, Detective Eric, uh, Kersband and Detective Matt Spicer. Um, I thought they were a really strong duo, and they did really well in the episode. And I thought that Billy Flynn was an awesome unsub. Even down to the way that he walked, it was just super crazy. I was captivated. Okay, there was one scene that I really want to pick on. Uh, one of the victims, the mom, when she went and opened the door, and she opened a little crack, and you heard the door crack, then she went back and picked up her son, and went to go re-enter her house, she hesitated for a moment and was wondering, why is the door wide open? I'm sorry, but if that situation were ever to occur with me, I would not enter the house with my son. I don't care even if it was just the slightest bit of hesitation, something's up. I'm sorry, I would call a friend or a neighbor or someone and ask, you know, just, hey, you know, I had a little weird feeling, you know what I mean? Like, could you help me check out my house? I'm sorry, but... It actually, I didn't feel so bad when she died, because I was like, come on now. Seriously, that's just a little too creepy. Anywho, so I thought that Morgan and Spicer had a very uh, awkward relationship. One moment they were agreeing with each other, the next moment they didn't. It was just really back and forth. They couldn't really place what was going on with their relationship. Anywho, but they did have a very cute moment where they were... Uh, and Spice's car, and they were talking about the past, and just things that affected them as human beings. I thought that was, that was a good scene to put in there. And, uh, yeah, all, all around, I thought it was just an amazing episode. Of course, the best scene in the episode was the last scene, where, uh, Tim holds captive, uh, Spicer's daughter and his sister. I thought it was just, it was brilliant. I was on the edge of my seat the whole time super creeped out, super in love with it, and, um, because, uh, Spicer got shot, I think he's gonna be okay, I think that eventually what's gonna happen is that, uh, so Curry goes away with the daughter, and then Morgan gets himself free, he gets the sister free, they end up putting, uh, pressure on the wound, he's gonna be okay, they call for backup, backup gets there, everything explains what happens, and then they go find, uh, Curry, and they figure what's, what's gonna happen, or, I, I really, really doubt that Spicer is going to die. I'm pretty sure we will be seeing him uh, next season, season opener. So, anywho, that is my post-comments for the episode, and I am so stoked for the new season and Tim Curry. It's going to be amazing. This is such a great episode. It really made up for the few not-so-great episodes this year, but I thought it was amazing. So, anyway, if you guys have any comments or questions, Feel free to leave them below, and uh, I'll talk to you guys later. Alright, bye guys.